Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Another glorious day lies ahead of our glorious nation as we continue to make progress across the river on both sides as we look to develop new housing for the people so that we can in the future develop new forms of power. I'm of course speaking of the nuclear energy developments that we've been making of late folks. That will be the primary focus of today's session, though there is work to be done on this side of the river as well. With that said, I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction, just want to mention really quickly as always, folks, if you are enjoying this show, if you would like to see the series continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. With that said, let's get this party started, shall we? There is a lot to do, primarily focused up over here. Uh, I do want to start building some of this uh, town up over here, and I want to continue our construction efforts over here as well with the nuclear facilities themselves. Uh, looking at the comments, it seems as though that is the consensus that it would be a good idea to actually uh, get some of the housing down over here, get some of the, obviously, the service industry stuff down over here as well built up so that we can move people over so they can live up there because uh, God knows that's starting to become a problem again. Uh, but not only that, they'll be able to then kind of, you know, drive on over to here much more easily. Uh, it's going to be far more convenient than establishing a rail network, which we will do eventually. But uh, to get this all up and running sooner rather than later, it'll probably be infinitely faster to uh, to build Modred up over here uh, and rename it as well. Again, I have name suggestions uh, that I do want to put in. In fact, actually, I should say, uh, I'm always looking for more name suggestions. I've got some suggestions for uh, our, uh, uh, our, our, our future tourist spot up over here. I've got some suggestions for one of these two, unless I've missed a suggestion. I don't think I have, but I've got a suggestion for one of these two. I've got suggestions for... Uh, down over here, Zacha as well, and I've got a suggestion for, um, yeah, I think I think that covers all of our bases. I've got suggestions, I intend to implement them soon, but, you know, feel free to keep them coming if you have more that you'd like to kind of toss into the, into the hat, as it were, or into the ring, I suppose. Uh, on which note, I just want to ask a very quick question, folks, and uh, let me know how you feel, if you feel a certain way about it, but how do we want to approach episode, I can't believe I'm about to say this, 200? Uh, normally, for every 100th episode, I've done a bit of a tour, uh, recently, I did something a little bit different with regards to uh, more of a tourist video, I suppose, a little tourist promo. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. It was a bit more time consuming, so it just took a little bit longer to get that episode out, but it was a lot of fun to, to do, and I thought it was a fun way to uh, kind of show our nation and, and all of its, uh, you know, beautiful, wondrous accomplishments. Uh, but with episode 200 coming up, I just wanted to see how people felt about what we should do maybe to celebrate. Um, if I haven't given it away already, then I'll give it away right now. I intend to get some of these names in for episode 200. I feel like that's a nice milestone kind of a thing to do. Uh, but I'm wondering, do we do a tour or do we do, um, I don't know, something else? I'll come up with something. Y'all let me know in the comments down below and I'll make uh, a decision accordingly. Uh, with that all sort of out of the way, with the housekeeping out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at our stats over here properly. And, uh, and we'll get to work. Uh, so population, hmm, I cannot recall, actually complete honesty, where we sat at the beginning of last session, it looks like we are still on the down tick. I can't tell if it's accelerating or if it is, uh, I wish we could, I guess this is the way to do it. I wish I could like, uh, oh, 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 okay. This is new, right? I can't, we're going to say this is new. This is great. Okay, fantastic. That's exactly what I was about to say. I wish we could. And there you have it. Uh, dreams do come true. Yeah, it looks. It looks. It looks like it's uh, steadying, stabilizing. Um, you know what I mean? It looks like it's like kind of going down. And it was going down quite quickly over here. I wish you could see like the delta. <laughs> There's always a wish. There's always another wish. I know. I know. It's it's all because I love what the developers have done, and so I just I'm I'm, I'm excited to see what else they come up with. Right? I wouldn't be surprised if they introduced that that concept. Um, it looks like we've kind of like, yeah, it was dipping down and it's kind of stabilized. Right, that's 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 promising. The 21 plus situation is slowly going back up. You can see the bump down, uh, you know, a handful of months ago and it's slowly going back up as we can expect. Unemployment is actually looking fantastic compared to where we were, you know, just in August of last year. Uh, unemployment is looking fantastic. We brought it right down. There's a lot of construction going on. Uh, and that's actually something I want to be touching on today as well. I got some interesting suggestions in the comments that I want to uh, sort of look at and look at that look at that this is okay this makes me really happy to see actually uh satiated or, or sa sa satiated sa sa sated sa food needs food and meat needs uh, are being met um you can see the the uptrend now which is very good to see 
Health seems to be trending upwards as well. Okay, this is very good. Loyalty still trending downwards. So we'll want to do something about that. Uh, and uh, otherwise, I'm, you know what? Actually feeling pretty good. We are solving some of the issues that we've uh, had recently. Uh, let me very quickly, very quickly here, pop on down and just slightly change the uh, entertainment um, output of some of these spots over here. Studensky's television station and Studensky's radio station over here. There we go. Mm, you know what? I wouldn't mind keeping a bit of uh, the cultural enjoyment over here. We just, we just bump the... Um, what should we call this? Uh, we just bump the uh, news focus up a little bit. <laughs> we can uh, we can do that up over here a bit as well. I don't want to lose the cultural enjoyment, of course. I think we're doing a decent enough job over here. I think that slight uptick might make all the difference we need. I could, of course, adjust some of the other things as well, like education and all that. I'm not exactly sure if uh, education is actually impacted by radio and TV. I'd love to know what that does. Like, I'd love to know the... the like actual programming behind what uh, having your radio and TV stations um, focus on education, what, what it does. Does it accelerate the rate of education? You're going to have like 15 year olds who've graduated university. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, sorry. So things are looking pretty good, actually. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased to, to see to see that. Um, that's that's actually quite promising. I'm, I'm very pleased to see that. All right. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, dive on in then. So I think the first order of business at Modred is going to be some of the uh, choppers coming through. To, uh, to help with construction. I think that'll be the fastest way to get it all going. So why don't we focus on that first. The source is without steel, really, eh? Still without steel down over here. That's, uh... I mean, it's it's reasonable, because we're doing so much construction all at once. But yikes, though. Okay, we have, uh... Steel has been shipped... Oh, wow. Are we really completely without steel on this side of the river? Buddy, let's go ahead and get you to uh, St. Partia Cargo Harbor. What's... Did we not just drop off like 90-something odd tons of steel? Do we really already have to flip back around again? Yikes! Anyway, uh, that's fine. I mean, they'll 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 scoop it up when it comes and, and they'll, uh, you know, they'll do what they can. Uh, but we need to start building some of the items over here. So what... Which... Where do I want to start is the question, right? We've got the hospital, we've got the uh, kindergarten, and we've got the school over here. Uh, up over here, we have the shopping center, the fire station, the warehouse, another shopping center, and the forklift garage to help service all this, which should all work smoothly. Um, we want to make sure that when people start moving in here, they're not starving or unable to go to work because they haven't, um, whoops, uh, they haven't, uh, you know, they haven't got kindergartens to leave their babies at or, or what have you. So let's go ahead and assign the kindergarten, the school, the hospital don't want them falling sick or anything and let's make sure that food is being delivered properly right we don't need this one just quite yet that one won't be needed until this area gets uh, developed uh we're gonna have this cultural enjoyment can kind of wait i suppose uh but let's go ahead and get a couple of these houses well actually you know what you know what and i uh, i wish i could click on this to, to cancel let's not get the houses Catch 22. If we get the houses done first, we'll have workers available nearby, much more easy to get some of the other stuff done, but they'll be starving and possibly, you know, getting ill and things like that. All right, let's 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 get all this stuff done first, and then we'll do the housing afterwards. I don't want them people to suffer just so that I can put them to work. That sounds horrible. So let's get that going. And with that done, I'm going to actually hit play right off the bat over here because I don't think we need to be stuck on pause for too long today. Uh, so yeah, let's hit play. And there's a couple things I want to touch on outside of of this man. It never gets old seeing a plane fly by. It just it just it just doesn't. Um, this is up at our uh, chemical factory. I'm, I'm almost sure, uh, almost certain, blending sure and certain together there. What's the deal here? Missing resources. Nobody working here. That's why we've got this jam. You guys are permanently stuck over here. I could probably sell them or reassign them honestly. Um. Or I could get people working up over here. I just don't want to take away from some of the other uh, offices in the area. Okay, let's 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 finally go ahead and send you back. Building on fire. I definitely want to check on that. You over here as well. Where is the? I don't know if this will actually work. Pop you in there. I don't know why I'm nervous about this particular fire. This is why, because I had a feeling. 
Now the question is, I, it was like a, a gut feeling that there was going to be a problem here. Question is though, we have a fire station I thought with uh, with choppers or do we not? Oh, you know, I can't remember for the life of me. I thought we did, but I might be mistaken. They'd be the only ones who'd be able to respond up over there. And I definitely want somebody to respond up over there. What's the deal here? No fire trucks come to deal with the fire, of course. So let's go ahead and find our closest fire station. <laughs> oh dear. It's only a matter of time. There's one over here. None over here. Quite far, eh? Oh yeah, there is one over here. Okay, good. I was like, I, 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 I'd be surprised if I didn't put one down over here. So let's go ahead and give this fire station a... Rooftop teleport, if we can fit one. There we go. Actually works quite nicely. Pop you down over just trying to figure out exactly where I want this to go. Because I could potentially put two down. One here and one here. And that would be quite nice. Let's pop you down over here. And pop you down. Oh, come on. There we go. Beautiful. Over here. Game's always got uh, a surprise waiting up its sleeve, doesn't it? Go ahead and fund these with rubles. Get, uh, get a chopper out there ASAP. That's a lot of resources and time about to be wasted if we don't uh, get this out there immediately. And hey, now we get to watch how uh, firefighting happens uh, from from uh, from choppers. So if we were to purchase... Here's the question, right? I imagine... Fire bucket water capacity. I imagine we want a cargo... Yes. Oh, no. Oh, these guys can... Oh, okay. Everybody can carry... Uh, uh, water. Okay. Cool. 4,792. 4,767. Oh, interesting. The MI-10 4797 versus MI-10 Cargo 4767. Seems like a small difference, but it can be, uh... Yeah, it can probably make quite a bit of a difference with passengers as well. So if we get two MI-10s, uh, I feel like... When you're fighting a fire with a chopper, you're just dumping water down. The, the boots on the ground are, are separate, right? Well, let's try the MI-10. Uh, and actually, let's, uh, I would like to change its color if possible. Change it to... Oh, right, I gotta actually zoom in on you. I'm gonna give it that firefighter look. I mean, I, I guess this works best. Ooh, that's nice too. I think... Uh, let's go with this one. And our... our, our, our Hospital choppers are these ones, right? Okay. Yeah, they look more like uh, like like hospital choppers. Okay, cool. Sure. So let's uh, let's go ahead and see if this actually works over here. Road connection for fire trucks and ambulances is required. I mean, this, you should be fine. Firefighters, but no fuel. I imagine we need fuel, perhaps. I'm not sure if these guys are going to go and, and fight this. Okay, this is an interesting challenge that I was completely not expecting. Um, what I could try and do is just for sort of having a, a safety net. I could also purchase, not resource, sorry, but a vehicle. Uh, and get the MI-10 cargo too, just in case. Can I not? Oh, weird. Okay, this is strange. They're definitely connected. In the hospital, when I try to buy over here, am I not able to... I thought I was able to... Hmm. Yeah, it's weird that... See, when I click the hospital, it's showing the uh, the choppers in here, right? But when I click the fire station, it is not showing the choppers in here. Which would explain why it's not doing anything. Now, okay, let me try... For the sake of trying... Let me select... No, I can't even select this guy separately. Okay, what if I sell you? Okay. Uh, I think, uh... Change vehicles after cargo. Still nothing. Okay. Uh, problematic. What if I sell you? I cannot buy from this fire station. Even if I go to more, I can't, uh, I can't find it. Oh, this is a problem. 
Sky Crane, G31. So why why would you let me buy? But I can't click on it. Okay, hold on. I apologize for uh for 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 the messiness of of the circumstances right now, but I don't think I can even remove these guys separately. Oh hey, they've added the construction office's assignment tool. Cool. Okay, I can remove you separately. So very carefully now I gotta click on Oh god. Can't demolish the home what? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What if I put a different one down? Is it maybe is maybe that the, the limitation over here? You guys are a little bit chunkier. I was very sure I had the overlap correct, you know? Like I remember it highlighting green just fine and all that. But I don't think it's that. Infrastructure. Come on, game, don't do this to me. Alright. Highlighted green. Copy down over here. Go ahead and pay for you. Work with me here, game. Work with me here. Don't only lose this building. Still nothing over here. And what if I do pay for you as well? Still nothing over here. Okay, this is uh, far from ideal. Okay, let's try. Let's try purchasing some fuel. Manual purchase a little bit. Right. Still doesn't show up any. Um... Too bad. Okay. I mean, this is again. This is a a, a mod that we're using over here, right? So, um, want to be reasonable with uh, with my uh, disappointment, I guess, that it's not working. Um... Okay, okay, hold on. So what if, uh, what if we have more room around one of these fire stations? Where I could put down one of the non-modded, um, airplane sort of parking, uh, spots. Where are we? It's a regular heliport. I need my fire station. We've got this one over here. We've got some small ones up over here. We've got this one. We've got this one over here. The more grain ski one maybe is, uh, is where we do it. Go ahead and flatten the train a bit up over here. That's not gonna fly. Get it, because it's a dropper. But over here. You guys are not flat enough, okay. Maybe maybe this maybe this will work. Maybe I, I misread the the train earlier. Okay, this is a <laughs> this is a sudden uh detour from from the day's plans. Which, uh, was not expecting. Worst case scenario, okay, the building goes down. We have to rebuild it. I, I don't want that to be the case, obviously. Alright, can I pop you down over here, please? Um, teleport over here. It was connected, right? I'm gonna, you know what? Can't demolish, it says. Alright, so, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's, it's good. If I go ahead and, and rush you, right? That's gonna get done. Uh, we have time on this fire, so at least there's that. So once you're done, you are connected. It says airplane parking is working properly. Good. So can I actually purchase over here? Oops. Can I purchase over here? Let's go to the MI-10 cargo to be safe. Yes, I can. I see. So it still only has four slots, which might be why I can't buy it at the other... Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. All right, so let me check. Just, just to be sure, let me check. Um, down over here. If I get rid of one of these guys, yeah, sure, I'll sell you. And I buy the Mi-10 cargo. There it is. There it is. Okay. Cool. Fantastic. Things make sense now. Let's go ahead and buy some uh, some fuel over here really quickly. And we'll have to supply fuel, of course, to these guys too. All right. Problem came up. Problem got solved. Well, let's see if the fire gets solved, though. Where is our fire station? Go ahead and resume. You gonna... You gonna get going, or... Is this too far away? Supposedly, it's not. There we go, beauty. Nice. Nice. Loads up on water. Takes off. 
Off we go. Well, hey, I didn't notice the uh, helipads actually lit up. All right, now I, I I do apologize for uh for how messy that kind of was, um. But now we know. Now I know exactly how that works. Go ahead and fly you over. That chopper is bringing in. I think. Oh, looks like it's bringing in workers. It's not here for the fire. Look at that fire though. It is raging. I just want to see how this uh, animation plays out. Oh, are you actually going to pick up water? Yo, that is super cool. I, was, I wasn't I was sure how they would actually play this out. If it, like, comes preloaded. That is awesome. And it's actually been filled up with water. I was not expecting this level of detail. I know this sounds like such a small thing. I, and I, I know it sounds like I'm... Maybe it sounds like I'm overreacting or something. But, dude... That's insanity, right? I'm so glad I watched this animation. And look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I wish I could get a better camera angle on this. I mean, I guess I can. I just got to zoom out. Oh, oh, dude. <laughs> that's amazing. I am thoroughly impressed. I am thoroughly impressed. Once again, this game proves... That it is like, it, <laughs> like no other. Um, this fire is uh, is still is still raging though, which I don't appreciate. Do we have another uh, firefighting chopper coming through? So yeah, this guy's got to go. Back. Okay, so so now that we've seen the animation, I kind of want to see the uh, the the efficiency as well. Can we hold on? I just can we just appreciate what's going on over here? Like, the logic being applied, the pathfinding, the, the, the animation, just all, all the layers, all the layers here to make this work the way it's working. Rather than just say, oh yeah, this is a firefighter chopper, and it comes preloaded with water. Or, or you know, oh, it goes back to its uh, fire station to load up on water, which is not what happens in real life. In real life, this is what happens. You know, they go, they find a body of water or a source of water, whether it's a swimming pool or a river or a lake or what have you. And, uh... And they try to fight the fire like this is amazing. Uh, okay, enough enough of me having my mind blown over that. And more of me realizing that I need more choppers out there. So where is our fire station over here? Go ahead and actually get rid of another fire ladder. We'll have to... We'll, I, I kind of wish I'd taken them to depots now that I think about it. But hindsight 2020, right? Go ahead and get another M... Okay, let's check the MI-10. And see if this guy flies out as well. Or if it's different because it's a passenger uh, passenger chopper. No, nope, he's he's getting going as well. Oh no, he looks like he's... Yeah, yeah, that's where we want him to go. Amazing, cool, cool. That's fantastic. Now we have two choppers fighting this fire. I can't be the only one who's who's this excited about something... Something like this, right? Oh, I'm going to go ahead and say that, that the... Uh, the, the dallying. As much as I am sorry that yeah, that took so long to, to ex figure out exactly. This was our first time dealing with something like this. Uh, and I'm glad we figured it out and we know exactly what the uh, issue was. Because I'm sure it'll come in handy in the future as well. Uh, but it's all absolutely worth it because now we have this. We we see how this works. Now back there loading up on water. Oh my god. Okay, I kind of want to see this fire get fought. Go ahead and double speed it though. I, I, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Give it, give it the time to, to shine that it deserves. Now this guy's going to go back and he's going to fill up on water. This guy's going to come over here and he's going to dump his water. There we go. Might actually fight this fire. Yo, this is absolutely sick. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. And it's been fought. Okay, I'm full of surprises this game. Full of surprises. I'm so pleased. Okay, where where was I even when I got distracted? I apologize again. I know, I know, I know. I apologize too much and all that. But I, I do... Uh, yeah, I came into this episode with like a goal in mind. And then immediately we get pulled aside and, and, and try to figure out how some of these systems work. But hey, we figured it out and that's great. Uh, actually, that reminds me. I'm probably going to have to pay for all this construction. I don't think I want to deal with... 
one way, two way, fixing all that and, 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 and having to deal with all that. I think we'll just pay for all the highway construction, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, I'll be honest, but I feel like it's the better way to go about it. Y'all let me know what you think about that. Uh, this can still wait, but you can see how this guy's stuck here now because he's not able to go back. And I'd have to make this into a two-way. And I guess, I mean, okay, let's see if this is an easy easy thing to fix. If I go ahead and cancel the one-way road just up to here, he can't loop around and go down this way and go up that way. Oh, it looks like maybe he can or he just disappeared. Or he's now down over there instead. What? <laughs> you okay, buddy? Okay. All right. Let me actually see what he does here. So he's going to loop around that way, right? So maybe this is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Which is great. I would prefer that. He'll go around this way, go up that way. Uh, and then maybe go around this way. Come up this way. Go around this way, come up that way just to go back up to Zavutsk. Not the most convenient, but perhaps that's uh, the way it needs to be done for now. He's doing the same, it looks like. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing, because he, he's from the uh, Zavodsk construction office, right? Yeah, that's almost exactly what he's doing. But hey, proof that all these uh, roads work, right? That the, the roads actually work as they're supposed to. There's a good test. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, now, actually, since we are over here, I just want to point out that I did come up with a way to light up the... Uh, the highways. I got a great suggestion of using, first of all, uh, wind power plants to help power the area, which I think is a good idea because um, they don't have that much power output, but we don't need that much power output in this area and it, it avoids a mess of like wires and all that. Uh, so I like that. That's definitely a good idea. But the uh, the highway, the bridges themselves don't have any lights. So I did get this mod, uh, which is also in the mod list. Now, again, you can find that in the discord in the uh, workers and resources channel. But I got this mod, which is um, under, not attraction, but under, oh man, I had it too, monuments, right, under monuments, uh, lamp post, um, ah, uh, unfortunately, this one does have collision, so I can't put it on top of infrastructure, I can put it right next to infrastructure, it kind of works, I guess. I'll see if I can get a different one. This was, I only found a couple of lamp post mods. One definitely looked a lot more like street lights, really fancy industrial era street lights, and I like it how it looks, but it's not what I want for my highway. Uh, so maybe I'll look around for, for some more options over there. Um, I have seen one call, by the way, to fix this, so I might do that, but we're not going to do that today. What we are going to do today as uh, progress up over here is hopefully being seen. Um, construction office has been assigned. What are you up to? Oh, yeah, it looks like we're actually getting resources over here. All right, good. Perfect timing to actually look over here. So cool. Progress is being made up over there. Uh, we'll assign other construction offices soon as well. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to manage some stuff down over here while we play at double speed. We've a, a lot's going on. I think we can play at double speed to, to let some of this stuff make progress. Uh, though, actually, i glad I realized this. I should set this. To not be a one-way either. These guys should be able to loop around and uh, and keep construction over here going. Seems like it's working. We'll, we'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, okay, so interesting suggestion I got in the comments that I really want to experiment with is what happens if we get some parking lots and a car dealership up at Brixtonia? Will people drive cars all the way down to, you know, Studensky and stuff to... Uh, work because over here employment is not terrible or unemployment I guess isn't terrible but there are a couple of you know spots where we could use some more jobs we've actually done a pretty decent job of keeping Brixtonia employed uh, but it'd be a nice way to see the highway in use I mean they wouldn't be able to they'd eventually be able to hop on over here I wonder if they'd make the effort to come up this way I have my doubts but we'll find out together I suppose where would I put that parking lot though um Oh, it's actually kind of wild having everything go at uh, double speed right now. Pop a parking lot down over here. Because we need a car dealer and stuff as well, right? Hmm. Actually, I'm surprised that fits. Multi-level garages can cause traffic issues. Just want to be careful about that. Double-sided parking lot. Interesting. Downtown parking lot. Okay. Well, this isn't downtown. We've got this underground parking lot as well. Quite a few options, actually. Oh, this one has no collision. Interesting, interesting. I like that. 
Uh, it just makes it easier to put some of this stuff down sometimes. But let's go ahead with perpendicular parking. Add a second road over here just for parking. I don't know how well that'll uh, actually work or look, but we could, we could try it, right? Um, can I get the road to cooperate, though? Come on. And this is right next to what? This restaurant, right? Or a cinema. Yeah, that makes it a sensible place to have a parking lot. Infrastructure, a little bit higher, a little bit over. Go close. Come on. Oh, this game sometimes. God damn, okay. I really don't like how that road looks. Don't even know if this will service enough people. What if I do this instead? Can't believe it. Infrastructure. What about a small parking lot like one of these? Can't believe it. Infrastructure. Oh, we got a sweet spot over here. Alright, okay. What about a slightly larger one? These won't fit, I assume. Yeah, these won't fit. Okay. Medium. Oh, might have a spot here. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Medium parking lot. Right down over there. Right next to the, the cinema and, uh, and and the clinic and, and, and I believe there's like schools and, and, and restaurants and stuff in the area as well, right? A good spot for a parking lot. Okay. Again, we're just running an experiment. I, I don't know if people will be able to drive from there to, uh, to anywhere. You know what? Let's just go ahead and pay for these. Um, fund you and fund. Yeah, I guess we gotta fund you as well. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. People can get down to Uprising Grad well enough. Once the highway here is done, might they be able to get up over here and go across? Maybe, actually. Oh, wow. A lot of cars are actually parking here right off, right off the bat, it looks like. Well, reserving spots. You guys, you guys own cars down here? Oh yeah, we do have some car owners over here. Where'd you buy your cars? Not a car dealership around these parts. Maybe they, uh... Huh. Maybe they used to live down over here or something? Okay. Well, I want to run the experiment first before I go gung-ho with establishing a car dealership and stuff like that, right? So let's, uh... Let's let progress over here get made and, and see where that takes us. How long is this going to take? Missing concrete... Eventually, we need asphalt as well. How many construction offices are assigned? Quite a few of them, actually. I would expect progress to happen a bit faster. Problem is, though, that these same construction offices are obviously working you know, down over here as well. Where we are, seeing some progress. Okay, good. Resources have arrived. Resources have arrived. To a degree. And actually, on the topic of resources, how is steel doing? Has that ship... Tell me it's made a delivery. Yeah, it must have. Okay, good. But do we have steel back over here now? Uh, where are we? Not over here. Over here. Only 16 tons left, eh? Has a lot of it been brought down to over here, perhaps? 16 tons. Okay. Okay. Uh, at least steel is coming. Because that's it's really causing a bit of a stagnation over here. Missing steel. These guys are all set up. We're missing... Okay. Quite a bit of work to do over here still. Oh my god, look at that. There are a lot of students needing some teachers. Need a lot of steel over here. We have everything else. We just need steel. And here as well, we just need steel. 68 tons. Yikes. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Um, I wonder if... Where are we? I wonder if we start pulling some steel from elsewhere. If we steal some steel, as it were. Or if we stop the export of it. We've got a bit of export going on right now. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but, you know, 16 tons here and there. If we can use it for construction instead. Okay, let us uh, let me see if I can't... How would I want to play this? Uh, you're picking up steel in the area. Why don't we get you picking up steel here instead? And, and, and let's see if that works. We're working on these universities, right? Okay, cool. I could probably also assign this to you. 
as this will be a nice source of employment too. I mean, right now it's a good source of employment as a construction site, but uh, there's other jobs I need doing as well. And then hopefully we can see some movement over here. Like we're producing steel pretty quickly, so that's good. It's just a matter of actually yeah, scooping it up and taking it to where it's needed as opposed to just exporting it, you know? Two trucks right now loading up on steel. Let me take a look at this construction office here. Have you sent any of your vehicles out? Actually doesn't look like it. Hmm. Troubling. I could instead get a distribution office, obviously bringing steel to here. Uh, might be the better way to go about it. So, steel, let's go ahead and reassign you here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Emo small distribution office. Where is this? Down over here, you're loading up on steel? Oh, you're, no, no, you're loading up on bricks. Okay. Uh, what about uh, Rurulinski's medium distribution office? This one's got to be the one that's bringing steel, right? Loading steel at Zavotsk. Let's go ahead and add. Are you unloading down over here? At the Uprising Grad Road Cargo Station. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and add to you uh, the steel mill. And from the steel mill, we shall load steel. I really want to see... I, we need to see some progress over here. It's starting to hamper us more than I'd initially anticipated. This guy over here with a full load of steel. And we... Um, can we... Can we... Actually use that, please? I can't start him, right? Because he's got to... Alright. Go ahead and assign you separately. Load steel over here. Get you going. Didn't think I'd face a steel shortage. I guess we don't really have a... A steel... Shortage. It's more a matter of uh, where the steel is going. Um... Okay, good. Getting some movement here already. Good, good, good. Good, cool. All right, <laughs> it's starting to stress me out a little bit how little, uh, how much steel was uh, starting to cause uh, an issue for us. But yeah, again, at least these choppers now are able to bring um, other resources over. This is why I feel like finishing one construction or finishing one area before starting a new one is so important. Because see, that 6.2 steel could mean a completed something else somewhere else. But now it's been drawn away elsewhere, you know? Okay, food's looking good over here. Meat, though. Meat is not so hot. Okay. What's the deal up over here? Food is looking good. All right, food's looking fantastic then. I imagine that's that's playing a huge role in the uh, the improvement over here. Look back to um, January, sure. Yeah, we're seeing a really big uh, uptick in uh, satiated or satiated. Satiated? I think so, right? I don't know. Words escaping me right now. Health is on the way up as well. Good, good, good. Loyalty, I can't tell. Looks like it's kind of like, it went up for a bit and then it's kind of stagnated now. Alright, fair, fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Doing okay over here, yeah. Uh, Alright, so with that all kind of done. Oh no. Are you still stuck over here, buddy? Okay, still stuck over here. Go ahead and cancel the one way down over here too, maybe? Are we good now? I think we might be. This is obviously causing needless amounts of trouble. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Now we're able to get out with a very funny looking uh, urn there, but hey, I'll take it. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Dumping all the concrete we need. Alright. Very good stuff worried this was just not going to work out, but that's looking okay. What about up over here? I mean, they need so much resources because they're such massive pieces of, uh, of construction. No workers or mechanism, anything headed over here? Running with some concrete. Okay, well, it was actually... Actually, it's not that bad. I, I thought it was a lot worse than it actually is. Uh, getting workers over here, though, is going to be a bit of a pain, I think. Because, uh, we... we our unemployment isn't high enough, so to speak, I guess is the way to put it. 
Alright. Back down over here. What do we need to look at next? 21 pluses, skyrocketing again. We gotta keep an eye out for that. We have... You know what? We actually are able to now move people over here. Quite a few people are jobless, though. So that's something to consider. Uh, I received an excellent suggestion a couple of episodes ago with regards to that. Um, and how... If healthcare is a problem, and unemployment is a problem, why not provide employment through healthcare services? And that makes perfect sense. So we're going to take a look at hospitals that we can maybe get small downtown clinic. You know, small downtown clinic is a, it's a nice uh, idea, right? Small clinic, the full on hospital. There's also this really interesting looking hospital, which I actually quite like the look of. I uh, will almost definitely want to get one of these down. Don't know. 60, 50 with 240 patients. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a massive building. I like it a lot. Uh, I wonder if we establish this up over here or... Where? So you've come from Uprising Grad. We've got hospitals there. We've got a hospital over here as well, of course, from the medical university itself. I do believe we have, yeah, we have a hospital up over there. We get another hospital, like, down over here. How many people do you employ? About 110. It's not a lot, actually. Not a lot. But it's a dope-looking building, so let's go ahead and see how we can place you down. Need to flatten the train a little bit. Fair enough. Employment, okay. I was like, what was that? So, I mean, hey, in a way, this is kind of good that unemployment too high notifications are coming up uh, over here, because that means that this... Um, driving thing might not be a terrible idea. I mean, it's cool to see people from Brixtonia actually driving down already using the regular roads. Only to Uprising Grad, though, right? We want them to get to some of the other spots, too. Uh, okay, so, this hospital. Sorry. I'm going over here. we got to flatten the train a little bit. And let's go ahead and... Flatten down, I think, rather than lift up, I think, is the, is the right call. Take a look here. We've got these natural kind of like mountains and stuff. They'll be the, the outer boundary, I think, to this expansion. Let's go ahead and flatten. Oh, okay. Go ahead and auto build on. Flatten all this down. Cool. Oh, it's actually quite the change in topography over here. Hmm. Okay, hang on a second then. In that case, it's a little different from what I originally uh, read. Could do okay. Try this. Right from center. See if this works nicely. It'll be a tough sell. <laughs> I'm already having doubts. Already having doubts. Pop it down like this. Got to raise. All right. Uh, height from center. Pull this stuff up a bit. There we go. There we go. Flatten all that. Pop you down over here. Here, they'll need more flattening. I don't want to overdo it because I do want to have a bit of a ramp up to here. That's why I'm uh, I'm not just flattening this whole thing. I want to have a ramp up. In fact, I, I need a ramp up because otherwise the uh, roads won't uh, attach. Just a little bit more. Okay, cool. Right from center, pop up there. And the accelerated. I think the the double speed is gonna help a little bit as well. Just get stuff done a little bit faster. Move resources a little bit faster and can open our next chapter a little bit faster as a result as well. well there we go. Go ahead and flatten away as needed. Now the question becomes the precise placement of this thing. Well, you know what I mean, precise. Rotate you a bit. Or perhaps not. Would like it a bit lower. I just don't know if this will cooperate. Let's find out. One way to know. Only one way to know for sure. Raise all this up. Go. Like, uh, call it like Mountainside Hospital or something, you know? I really want it to be down over here. Okay, yeah, it's actually not that far away. Bring this up. This up. How about now? Dude. How'd you lie to me, game? That little corner has been, like, insistent and incessant. There we go. Much better. 
close. And again, we're going to be allowing people to, to, to build this themselves, right? So that'll provide some employment in the meanwhile as well. Healthcare isn't as much of a need as uh, employment is, I suppose, uh, at the moment. It's kind of funny, actually. This happens a lot in um, in places that you, you do... You take on these kinds of projects where you just build for the sake of giving people jobs and the buildings don't actually have any real use. They're just going to stand there empty uh, and unused. But people were employed during the construction, and so, you know, that was great. Now you gotta do it again and again and again. Uh, it is a thing. It's very much a thing. Let's go ahead and... Oh, come on. Yeah, that's... Oh, of course, when I have auto-build selected, it'll turn green. There we go. Beauty. Poppy down over here. This is gonna be a nice sight. And I quite like its elevated platform, actually. The more I look at it, the more, the more I think about it, the more I like it. Poppy down there. Auto build is off, yes. Question is, how do we... Oh no, hook this up. Okay. Pull you back a little bit. This is not going to fly, obviously. I don't even know if we can smooth this enough. I really hope I didn't auto build a huge... No, I didn't. Money would have dropped uh, a significant bit more if I had suddenly just auto built the entire highway or something. Come on now. That's not gonna... Can we wind? No, we cannot wind. Uh, get rid of you. And smooth this out a bit. Because we could potentially wind down, and I'd be fine with that, but... Uh, up over here we should be fine, because this is kind of like smooth enough already. Where we're... Looking okay. But up over here I'm... Uh, a little less certain. Rather, I'm very uncertain that it's going to work, so see if we act this up or if we're okay. Alright, pop you down. Like so. The yeah, audible's still on, that's good. Pop down like so. Gives us a bit more room on that left um, connection as well, actually. Come on. Where'd you go? There we are. It's like I, like a millimeter precision required here. All right. So, too steep, too steep. Need more uh, construction offices. Clearly, that's not gonna fly. Go ahead and raise terrain. There we go. We're not going to be able to go straight down over here. It's going to have to be a winding path. I have to, like, this kind of a thing. Then, flatten this a bit more. Or smooth it out, I suppose. I don't mind this. You can make this, like, a, the, the scenic route. And this is the uh, emergency. <laughs> so I think it's actually probably meant to be the other way around. The descent. I wonder if... Start from elsewhere if I'll have better luck. That doesn't look like doing what I needed to. It's most certainly not. Okay. Thanks. The darkness doesn't help. I wish there was a flashlight. Alright. I'm gonna have to wait until the sun comes back up. That's the downside of, uh, Playing at double speed, but also the upside. Sun comes right back up as I as I say it. Alright, let's go ahead and I'll smooth this out a bit more. Come on. We have something here. Problem becomes over here, right? How bad is this? Okay, pretty bad. Let's go ahead and raise the train just ever so slightly over here. That should allow us to continue on straight like so, sure, but can we loop around shortly afterwards? We could do, um, we could get rid of some of this stuff for sure. Right, like we could just go ahead and, if I demolish you, turn off snapping, hook you up like this, hook you up like this, right? 
Like, I don't mind that. It feels like, yeah, you drive up over here, you go up to, to the hospital. Right, like, that's, uh, that's fine by me. I want to actually kind of smooth this out a bit more if possible. Because that's the story of my life. Just a little bit. Probably going to be fine, like, good enough. Acceptable. Cool. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Uh, go ahead and get the, um... Irish reconnected, though. Play up to here, play up to there. Oh, now you can go this distance. Go ahead and pay for you. Alright, cool. And this road over here... I kind of want to make sure it, uh... Ah, uh, it has to be straight. Okay, so angled connections are not uh, allowed in this game, I guess. So we're going to have to pull you down over here. Fair enough. It's not the end of the world or anything. I just was really hoping it would work uh, in that in that angled kind of a way. And raise you up over here. There we go. Should be able to pull this off. Steep of the descent. Smooth it out a little bit higher up. Come on, man. Because I want to be able to hook up to that road over there, right? Now let's try something here. If this continues on straight... The wireframe on. Try to make it as uh, straight as possible here. Because it's actually not lined up to the uh, to the lines over here, so... Always fun. Go ahead and pull you up like so. That looks straight enough. Hook you up like this, good. And you would struggle down this way. Oh, oh we got a sweet spot over here. That works for me. Yeah, cool. All right, nice. Got a new hospital on en route. Now, how does this work? Construction offices assignment tool. So, assign construction office mode. So, pick a construction office. Um, you are one. So Zodcha Uprising Grad have been selected. And let's go ahead and assign... Zavotsk. I, supp I suppose I, I do need more, uh... I need more construction offices. Um, okay, so, and then, and then assign construction mode. And click on you. And so that would mean, over here, we have all three of them assigned. Alright, cool. I like it. It's a new tool coming with the latest uh, update. Again, I'm playing on the uh, the beta branch always with this game. Because it uh, there's always like these kind of like nifty little things happening in between big updates. Uh, and even betas of big updates. So, uh, so I'm always playing the, uh, the, um, the beta branch of this game. Because I always feel like there's something cool to see or try out or just to know is happening. All right, we have a Motherland Calls up there already, and I quite like its placement and, and, and all that. We have an Iron Felix already as well. What about one of these? You look fun. Fountains, urns. Oh, God, urns outside of a hospital? Uh, I'm thinking no. <laughs> Ooh, little hedge mazes. Um, we need, uh, this, is, this is how we triage patients. But yeah, just stand in line. Where? In that uh, hedge maze over there. The Eternal Flame. Small red stars. Get down five stars. It's a five-star hospital. Uh, I, I do quite like the idea of having this giant um, symbol of pride, as it were, right next to this giant hospital. Is it too much, though? Is it too much? Oh, I don't know. That's pretty epic. Something to think about. For now, we can put down some trees. I, I but I do want to decorate this space, so I might look out for some more um, some more options on that front as well, like other types of things we can put down. Good to see so many uh, resources already being dropped off over here. And let's just make sure that people are able to work over here. Maximize efficiencies. Are people able to walk over? You're not able to walk over because this road is not completed. I'm just going to pay for this road. Done. Now you're able to walk over. Yes, excellent. Now it's actually interesting to see that that's too far away. Can I put down some footpaths? I can. Too steep, no surprise there. 
Hmm. Interesting. Well, yeah, because these guys would have to walk all the way down, over, and up. Interesting. Upgrading the road might do the trick. One way to find out. We can also try, like, underground footpaths and stuff to get people to the hospital. I don't know about needing, you know, if you need to, if you're not feeling well, you need to use stairs. I don't know how that, uh, cracks, really. Auto build. This will also help deliver food a little bit faster. Food and, and everything a little bit faster over here. What you built. How are we feeling now? Yep, able to reach. Wonderful. So hopefully now workers will be coming through over here. Resources are coming through. Excellent. Uh, we will need a lot of steel here as well. No surprise there. But more jobs being provided as well. 100 jobs. So not a lot. Not a lot. Uh, I think I need to establish more opportunities to work up over here as well. And actually, I just realized something. Will this have access to power? Uh, how can I check quickly? Give me literally anything that needs power. No, it is outside of the reach of both of these. Oh, it might get power from there. Won't know until it's done, but we'll need we'll need more power over here anyway, so it's not the end of the world. I just want to kind of check in and know for sure what's going on over here. Okay, fair enough. So that's that taken care of. Up over here, how is our highway construction looking? Uh, wow, it's not. <laughs> It's moving very slowly. Up over here. Also moving pretty slowly. Need workers. There are a ton of construction offices assigned, but no workers making their way over. Neither there nor, I assume, here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Again, it's because these guys are working on so many other things, right? I could try and split their focus. No workers down over here. No workers down over here. We've made absolutely no progress. All the resources have been dropped off, but no workers have been dropped off. Now, why is that? Why is that? Our chopper construction office here has these guys. Oh, but you're all... Well, hang on now. Well, this is silly. I don't want them all moving resources. I want some of them moving people as well. That's why I specifically bought MI-10s and MI-10 cargoes. So that's a little silly. And uh, I don't know how to force it to only do... Oh, that's really quite silly, actually, because they're all waiting for steel to arrive, and it's like... Wasted time over here. They're just moving around empty as opposed to actually picking people up. Oh, I don't... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I could solve that problem. Too easily. What's the deal over here? Deal's being produced. It's being picked up. Being taken to the open storage. Okay, fair enough. Okay, it looks like he's drifting out of the, <laughs> the parking lot there. Okay, that's a little far from ideal. Because that's why we're not getting workers up over here. The other option is, of course, to assign uh, Zavotsk uh, construction offices. I wonder if I extend the highway over here as a bit of a priority project then, so they're able to get up there a little bit faster, right? To go through here, we'd have to go over this area. Or, hmm, this will be interesting. Navigating this space will be interesting. And I think I'll want another junction somewhere by... Uh, what's currently known as Karasna. Another simple one, 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 of, one of these style junctions, right? To make sure people are able to uh, get on easily. There's not gonna be much up over here, or, ooh, I have a call. All right, this is interesting. Workers are coming over here just fine. Well, good for you. What's the steel situation looking like up over here? up over here. You know, another thing I could do another thing I could do is where is this train? Not there. All the steel is being used for mechanical components, I assume? Okay. One thing I could do is assign some of these construction offices over here. If I use this new tool If 
I cancel that, if I do that, what happens? This construction over here. Another new tool for us to explore. You're still assigned. Okay, so separate, like separately, we are selecting one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to assign you uh, these guys, right? And we'll assign the housing later. Where are you guys? Okay, I should really cancel these constructions. This is a waste of resources right now. We'll we'll focus on this later. Spend. I'm guessing this vehicle got dropped off over here by one of the choppers, right? It's the only possible uh, explanation, but suspend that and suspend this as well. As much as I want to get this space done, there's some other more pressing matters that uh, that need to be tackled first. I just wish even like the the vehicles were getting dropped off over here. We we need plenty of stuff over here. We're getting none of it. And it looks like party power construction offices have been assigned. Excellent. Are you actually moving? Have any of your vehicles actually departed? Doesn't. Oh, these guys definitely looks like some of them have uh, have have headed out. Liver mechanisms only with trucks. Don't want to make sure that uh, these guys aren't like slowing down traffic literally everywhere as they make their way over. That would be a problem. That would be a huge problem. You too. Right now, it doesn't look like they're actually going anywhere. Hmm. Why is that? I don't think there. It would warn me if there was a lack of a connection. I understand it's a long way to go, but that's no reason not to go. Roads are all connected. Well, folks, we'll keep an eye out for all this. I mean, it's good to see all this though. This hustle and bustle is really cool to see, because uh, we're making a lot of progress here. I don't want to downplay just because we're not building a couple of buildings out over there. I don't want to downplay the the progress we've made over here. Like this is huge. Both of these are done. This is all done. We've got our bus stop uh, uh, done over here as well. This bus stop's being built up right now, too. Uh, these guys are... Oh my god, this is actually almost done. We're a quarter of the way or a fifth of the way done over here as well. Like, we've made a lot of progress over here, and it's very exciting and very cool and everything. Uh, but, of course, it it, uh, it would be nice to see uh, some progress over there at Modred as well. Where are you headed, buddy? It's actually quite neat. I haven't spent enough time looking at some of this stuff get uh, get built up. Yeah, definitely going to spend next session uh, on, on double time as well. <laughs> I think uh, I think that much is uh, I think that much might go without saying. There's a lot of work that needs doing, and uh, I think next session as well we will, as some of the progress there continues, we'll go ahead and continue to grow our uh, our highway uh, network as well. Right, make sure it's actually got uh, it, its marching orders, as it were. These guys, are you are you making progress? I don't think so. All right, what do you think, folks? Should I just pay for this? Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe, maybe there has been some progress over here. But I, I, I am tempted to just kind of like pay for it just so we can see what happens to the uh, Brixtonia situation. Will they be able to drive all the way to uh, Studensky and St. Elitsburg and, and get jobs over here? I think, mate, I think so. We're willing to go all the way up to Zavotsk. That's one kilometer. They're willing to go all the way down over here. That's 1.5. I think three kilometers is the range. There are parking lots over here, but I can imagine like getting to here isn't so easy, right? If they can get to the highway. Oh, wait, some of these guys are actually driving all the way down over here. So hang on then. How does this work then? Well, now, now, now I'm really confused. Now I'm really confused because these two cars evidently Are, yeah, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. From up over here. So are they able to sort of ping pong from, from one parking lot to another? Because then that would make sense, right? That they're coming down here, and then what, parking for a bit, and then continuing on over to here, or something? How does this work? 
how does this work? Lots to look into. You know what? This was quite the uh, learning episode, I would say, um, with regards to uh, everything that went down with the, the firefighting. That was epic. Uh, but also with regards to this car thing that uh, I didn't realize that they were actually able to. Yeah, like daisy chain. I shouldn't say ping pong, but daisy chain from uh, from one parking, uh, parking lot to another with another in between is what I assume is going on. Steel looks to be like it's doing okay right now over here, so that's a promising sight. Steel not so much okay over here. And hopefully this guy's gonna come back and pick up some steel and uh, quickly ship a hundred tons of steel across the river again. But folks, a lot of progress made today. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this session because I certainly did a lot of cool stuff uncovered as well. Uh, let me know your thoughts about building the uh, the uh, highway over here and just kind of just paying for it. Uh, just this section so we can see Brixtonia in action and the rest of it we can let our uh, wonderful citizens build. Folks, hope you had a good time. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do, what I don't do, how I go about doing it. Again, y'all know the drill by now. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, that's for Daniel.